Iron Mike Tyson's in the game, ladies and gentlemen. Last boxing competition for him against Kevin McBride in 2005. He loves this mixed martial arts stuff. You know about his appetite for competition. This, feel, this felt like an eventuality. Tyson on the biggest stage tonight. Yeah, it always felt like Mike Tyson would make his way here because he loves fighting so much. And he loves mixed martial arts so much. But if you ever thought a guy could cross over from boxing with the athleticism, you thought it was Iron Mike Tyson. He was so fast, he was so gifted. He's an A-plus athlete. And if he commits himself to the wrestling like he did boxing, I imagine Tyson will find a lot of success inside the octagon. Once the baddest man on the planet, trying to realize that distinction again, albeit in a different combat sports setting. We'll see how it goes for Iron Mike tonight. The baddest man on the planet has graced the octagon. He's ready to fight. So with much fanfare, here is John Jones back in defense of his UFC heavyweight championship. Remarkable the manner in which he came back from a three-year layoff. Figures to present an even better version here tonight. Well, so many people questioned or wondered when John Jones would come to heavyweight. When he did, he looked better than he ever has inside the UFC's octagon. Winning the heavyweight championship and reasserting himself as the dominant force in mixed martial arts. John Jones once again steps into the octagon, looking to build on his legacy. And we don't know how long for this game John Jones is, so enjoy him while he is here. We'll see how it goes tonight in this UFC Heavyweight Championship title defense. John Jones, one of the greatest of all time. He has graced the octagon. It means we are ready to go with our main event of the evening. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Iron Mike Tyson. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion. Herb Dean, third party in the octagon tonight. All right, so pretty wild to see the size discrepancy at the outset here. Mike Tyson and John Bones Jones. We'll see if Tyson can get inside of that extended range of Johnny Bones. And if anyone can do that, it's Mike Tyson with that rock and side-to-side -side head movement that allows him to close distance and manage space faster than most we've ever seen inside of boxing, inside of MMA. But Jones has some long-range weapons that could cause some real problems Iron Mike. Big ground and pound. Well, doing his able best to avoid the ground and pound here. Nice job by Tyson. Good, solid strike on the ground. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, north-south position now. Jones is going for the sub here. Oh, that looks tight. Wow, somehow, some way he gets the arm out. It looked like he was 
done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. Nice job by Johnny Bones there on the feet. I'm not in the prediction business, but if the opponent doesn't adjust here, this could be the beginning. He's got to do something different. Because for Jones, he's not only at the first striker, but he's a fantastic finisher. He's a guy that when he gets his opponents hurt, he knows where to find the spots to end their night. Late round action now, and the storyline has been John Jones really from the outset. The ground and pound has been absolutely vicious. Yeah, just getting back to himself, J.A., getting back to, I'm the guy that's going to take you out and put your head through your canvas. He got takedowns early. He made sure that he took advantage. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it for going in the fight. Oh, huge left. Missed with that attempt. Less than a minute to go in the round. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Garth, yep, he's got a little Garth here. Oh, he's getting a deep. Tight submission locked in. Darth choke seems to be very close to being finished. He cannot get excited, though. He's got to be patient. Wait, take his time, and the finish will show itself. All right to the mount. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Huh. Round two next. So there's the end of the round. You know, few things more exciting in mixed martial arts than a submission, and he nearly had one there. He almost had it. He had it locked in. He thought the fight was over, but his opponent was able to escape. But the next time, if he goes back to that position, maybe he gets the finish he wants so bad. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, round two. Nice jab there by Johnny Bone. Fighter blocks a punch. Oh, big left hand. We'll see if he can follow it up. Just misses with the straight right. Distance management 101. Another punch lands. in a half guard position here. Jones has got an arm. Looks like he's trying to lock up a Kimura. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack trying well, defense doesn't always win championships in MMA, but how about the submission defense tonight rewarding one attempt after the next? Yeah, and the fact that he's just constantly under attack tells you he was very prepared for the type of fighter that he was in front of. He knew there would be some submissions coming his way. He was ready to defend them, right, and he has done that beautifully. Take your time. Relax. Breathe. Jones is in half guard. There it is. Now he's running him out. Nice right hand by the champ, yeah. All right, feet on the hips here. Working out of the half guard here. Oh, he's attacking choke now. This is tight. He's trying to tighten the grip on his guillotine choke. He seems to have it, but he's got to really get his hips up into his opponent and make sure his opponent doesn't roll off to the side. That as he gets out. That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing the opponent to get the submission victory. All right, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a 
huge response from the crowd, no surprise. There. I loved it. I loved all the graphic that was on display there. But fight fans want to see striking, and that's exactly what they're going to get as he finally makes his way back to his feet. Nice. Jones is bleeding from the mouth, Daniel. Looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. Two oh, rounds God. in the books. All right, so that round is in the books. Jones is corner now. We'll take a look at that lip. The cut man is in, and you got to tighten that up. It's really starting to bleed now. We'll see if uh, it rears its ugly head as this fight continues. All right, let us now take a look back at some of the highlights from that previous round. We'll see if we can isolate the exact strike that caused that cut to his lip. He landed a beautiful shot that cut him on the lip. Now, listen, guys. As long as it ain't like Jarzinho rolls the strike and Alistair over oh. him, you're fine. Cuts on the lip are okay, unless your lip is hanging off like we have seen sometimes. That is not that, but he's got to protect I got Robbie Lawler on line one, by the way. Oh, yeah. Talk yeah about I Robbie. Lip cuts. Oh, my God. I was thinking about that. I couldn't remember who it was. Yet. All right. Next round is upon us. Let's see how it plays out. Three, two, three. And he's looking for that left hand just missed. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice front kick. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a, a great double leg. Beautiful transition. And now he's attempting to choke. Oh, he's got him in a choke here. He's going to choke him. There it is. Oh, wow, he got out and mounted. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Not panicking whenever he was beat so greatly by that rear naked choke. He hasn't moved on the bottom, and now he's starting to swell after he takes another ground and pound strike. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Jones. Oh, he got to his spot. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Now it's tight. There it is. Had the submission in very tight, but as it started to slip, he went right back to the dominant position. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. I need you to scramble, scramble. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Tyson. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. That's sufficient. I mean, how about those last five minutes? Are you kidding me? That last round didn't go your way. You're looking tired out there. But I know you trained hard. There's more left in you. I need you to be smart now. All right, so for one fighter, the round mercifully comes to an end as we look back at some of the action. What a display of ground and pound. It's his calling card. It's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a brutal ground and pound fighter, and he showed you just then why he's known as that in the MMA sphere. He's the guy that if he gets you down, he will dominate you with positioning and brutal, nasty ground and pound. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. 
right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. So Iron Mike Tyson's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. There's the single. Look at him attack that top triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest, to get all the way down to his opponent's neck to try to choke him out and finish the fight. Just over three minutes to go. Big right hook there by the champ. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Jones is back to the side control now. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Get on now. Getting the ball here. He's got to start throwing now. Trying for a submission here. Oh, he's got the arm bar deep. Ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Oh, right into Mount. Under a minute to go in round four. Hey, scramble, get up. Scramble. Jones is in half goal. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the ground, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and that's exactly what you just got. All right, so the round is over. Certainly stunned his opponent in that round. We'll see if he can follow up here after 60 seconds. Yeah, he did a fantastic job of finding the shot that really did affect the equilibrium of his opponent. Now he needs to go back and find the attack that's going to shut the lights off. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could Where secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's going to stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react a little quicker. Oh, nice jab to the head there by Jones. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Takedown defense holds up. Fighters separate from the clinch. Just misses with the jab there. Looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, in good position to rip off a Kimura here. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, and now he gives up on the submission. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. 
Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. We've seen you go to this a couple times, no? This is one of my favorite techniques. I got Vulcan Ozdemir here, and I just landed punch after punch after punch. They didn't have to be hard, but if you can land 30, 40 strikes in a row, the referee will have no choice but to finish the fight. Oh, man, he's still targeting that cut, and it is getting worse by the minute. Jones is able to make a nice transition there back into side control. He's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack an arm triangle. Oh, that looks wicked tight. Knee on belly. Well, if you like blood, maybe this is the fight for you, but that cut just continues to get targeted by well, his opponent. Well, he's a bloody mess, Jay. He's been beat up. The guy has been targeting the eye, and now the cut is at a stage that I don't know if he's going to be able to be in there much longer. Side control now. Now he's going full mount. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Tyson's eye is starting to swell oh. shut. And there oh. is the final horn. What a 25-minute affair tonight. We're going to the scorecards. The official Ladies decision is in. Bruce After Buffer has five it. rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 49-46, 49-45, and 49-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world.